judge. This act of islet love, Forbes, doesn't it give one a sense of release? Release Mrs. Hedder? Well, it's a release for him, of course. I don't mean for him. I mean for me. The release of knowing that someone can do something really brave, something beautiful. My dear Mrs. Hedder. Ah. I know what you're going to say. You're a bourgeois at heart, too, just like... <laughs> well... I know Lobberg has meant more to you than you're willing to admit even to yourself, or am I wrong? I'm not answering questions like that from you. I only know that Eilert Loveberg has had the courage to live according to his own principles. And now, at last, he's done something really big, really beautiful. To Dis have the courage and the will to rise from the feast of life so early. It distresses me deeply, Mrs. Hedder, but I'm afraid I must rob you of that charming illusion. Illusion? You wouldn't be allowed to keep it for long, anyway. What do you mean? He didn't shoot himself on purpose. Not on purpose? No. It didn't happen quite the way I told you. You've been hiding something. What is it? To spare poor Mrs. Elstedt's feelings, I allowed myself one or two small equivocations. What? To begin with, he's already dead. He died at the hospital? Yes, without regaining consciousness. What else haven't you told us? The incident didn't take place at his lodgings. <laughs> well, that's utterly unimportant. Not utterly. The fact is, you see, Eilert Loveberg was found shot in Mademoiselle Danielle's boudoir. <laughs> that's impossible. He can't have been there today. He was there this afternoon. He went to ask for something he said they'd stolen from him. Talk some crazy nonsense about a child which had got lost. Oh, so that was the reason. I thought at first he might be referring to his manuscript, but I understand he destroyed that himself, so he must have meant his wallet, I suppose. Yes, I suppose so. So they found him there? Yes, there, with the discharged pistol in his pocket. The shot had wounded him mortally. Yes. In the breast? No, the stomach. The lower part. That too. <laughs> Why does everything I touch become mean? <laughs> Ludicrous. It's like a curse. Something else, Mrs. Hedder. It's rather disagreeable too. What? The pistol he had on him. Yes, what of it? He must have stolen it. Stolen it? That isn't true. He didn't. It's the only explanation. He must have stolen it. Well, uh, Shh. Uh, we can't see properly uh, under the lamp here. Would it be possible for us to come and work in here? Yes, of course. Pretty tale. And how is work progressing on Islet Loveborg's memorial? Oh, it's going to be terribly difficult to get these into any order. And we've got to do it, we must. After all, putting other people's papers into order is rather my speciality, what? <laughs> what was that about the pistol? I said he must have stolen it. Why do you think that? Because any other explanation is unthinkable, Mrs. Hedder, or ought to be. I see. I let Logbrook he was here this morning, wasn't he? Yes. Were you alone with him? For a few moments. Did you go out of the room while he was here? No. Think again. Are you quite sure you didn't go out of the room, if only for a moment? Yes, I might have gone into the hall for a few seconds. Where was your pistol case during this time? I'd locked it in Mrs. the... Mrs. Hedder. It was lying over there on my writing table. Have you looked to see if both pistols are still there? No. You needn't bother. I saw the pistol Loveberg had on him when they found him. I recognized it at once from yesterday and other occasions. Do you have it? No, the police have it. And what will the police do with this pistol? Try to trace the owner. Do you think they'll succeed? No. Hedda Gabler. Not as long as I hold my tongue. And if you don't? You could always say it's stolen, it? 
I'd rather die. People say that they never do it. And suppose the pistol wasn't stolen and they trace the owner, what then? There'll be a scandal, Hedda. A scandal? Yes, a scandal, the thing you're so frightened of. You'll have to appear in court together with Mademoiselle Danielle. She'll have to explain how it all happened. Was it an accident or was it homicide? Did he, was he about to take the pistol from his pocket and shoot her with it? Or did, did it go off? Or did she snatch it from his hand, shoot him with it, and then put it back in his pocket? She might quite easily have done it. She's a very resourceful lady, is Mademoiselle Danielle. But I have nothing to do with this repulsive business. No. Oh. But you'll have to answer one question. Why did you give Isla Lerberg that pistol? What conclusion will people draw when it is proved that you did give it to him? I see. I hadn't thought of that. Well, luckily there's no danger. Not as long as I hold my tongue. In other words, I'm in your power. From now on, you've got your hold over me. Hedda, my dearest, believe me, I will not abuse my position. Nevertheless, I'm in your power, dependent on your will and your demands. Not free, still not free. Oh, no, I couldn't bear that, no. Most people resign themselves to the inevitable sooner or later. Yes, I suppose they do. <laughs> well, George, <coughs> think you'll be able to manage what? Hmm? Heaven knows, dear, this is going to take months and months, by Jove. Huh? Fancy <clears throat> that, by Jove. Mm. Isn't it strange, Taya? Here you are, working away with Tesmond, just the way you used to work with Islet Loveborg. Oh, if only I can inspire your husband, too. Mm. Oh, it'll come in time. Yes, do you know, Hedda, I really feel I'm beginning to feel a little well that way. Mm. Yes, but uh, you go back and talk to Judge Clark. Well, can't I be of any use to you, Phil, anyway? No, no, uh, not at all. Uh, you'll have to keep her company from now on, see if she doesn't get bored, Judge, uh, if you don't mind. It'll be a pleasure. Thank you. Come anyway. Well, yes. Excuse me. But I'm tired tonight. Not to have any... Not to have... Hedda, dear. Yeah, please, pick up Islet and poor Aunt Irina. And Aunt Juju, and all the rest of them. From now on, I'll be quiet. The distress is her to watch us doing this. I say, I, I've had an idea, Mrs. Elton. Awesome. Why don't you move in with Aunt Juju? Hmm? I could run home for each evening, and uh, we could sit and work there, what? Yes, that might be the best plan. Hmm. I can hear what you're saying, Tesman. But how shall I spend the evenings out here? I'm, sh I'm sure Judge Brock will be kind enough to come over and keep you company. You won't mind my not being here, Judge. I shall be delighted, Mrs. Tessman. I'll be here every evening. We'll have great fun, you and I. Yes, that will do you, won't it, Judge? The only from an And now she's playing with those pistols again. She's shot herself. Shot herself to the head, Budge. Oh, fancy that. Good God. People don't do such things. <laughs> 